When Eric Crouch hits his receiver with a pass, most fans are thinking about another first down. As usual, I'm preoccupied with the pass as a physics problem, and recently I've been thinking about vectors. A vector is a fancy name for an arrow. When Eric throws the ball, it has a direction as well as a speed. The vector points in the direction he throws, and the length of this arrow is equal to its speed, say, in meters per second. But what if Eric is running at the same time he throws the ball? Where will the ball go? With vectors, it's simple. Let's say Eric is running with a speed of five meters per second. He now throws the ball with a motion that would give it a speed of 12 meters per second directly downfield if he were standing still. But Eric's motion vector combined head to tail with that of the ball gives it an angle of 75 degrees instead. So you see, it's very important for quarterback to figure in his speed on a rollout pass. Actually, Doc, I run those at seven meters per second. So we should probably figure 53 degrees. You know, Eric, I think you need to teach the next class. 